the industrial strategy that they talk about, uh, it's hard to be against or in favour of something that doesn't really exist. Um, the, we're seeing a lot of nice words, but the actions aren't particularly helpful. When you're talking about the bigger picture, Northern Powerhouse Rail has been essentially cancelled or downgraded. Northern HS2 has been delayed in, indefinitely. Levelling up has been diluted, as we saw with that begging bowl or lottery, whatever you want to call it. Chips, microchips. We nearly allowed the last chip producer in this country to be sold to China. Uh, COVID and Fukushima should really have told us how vulnerable long supply chains actually are, but we haven't done anything about it. Now, I did see that, um, I think it's the chairman of the BEIS committee, mm. uh, has announced an inquiry. They're going to hold an inquiry. Marvellous. Now, what we had, I remember years ago, you said to me, a, com a committee is something uh, that designs a camel when it's been asked to come up with a horse. Uh, and what will happen with these committees? They deliver late, they deliver over budget. Mm -hmm. We need the sort of drive that Kate Bingham talked about in her book, The Long Shot. Um, the section in the middle where she was talking about how they got things going, how they got people involved from other countries, uh, you know, companies, not necessarily the countries mm -hmm. themselves, and how they concertinaed the development programme so they were able to deliver those vaccines in such a short mm -hmm. period of time, invested in novel technology, were prepared to see, to see losses, knowing that the ones that came through would be huge gains. But what we, we don't... Uh, talking about the automotive industry, we're supposed to be having electric vehicles only from 2030. Yeah. Car manufacturers have got 10-year and 5-year timescales. We cannot afford to wait to 2008 to get this sorted out. If we haven't got it sorted out by 2005, we're going to be in serious trouble after 2030. We may not have an automotive industry. It really is that important. Mm. We can't take time to chew the fat. Something has to be done quickly. Now, I understand that um, a number of people have expressed interest in the British Vault project, Jaguar Land Rover, allegedly, and uh, sources say that your colleague Liam Halligan is very much on the case, so I'm sure that we'll be hearing more from him on that. It's good to hear that. There's also a potentially large one in Coventry. But one of the things that I think the British Vault tried to do was it tried to go from standing start to 100 miles an hour mm. without going through the intermediate stages and building up, building up reputation, building up market and demonstrating that it could supply that market. It was always a pipe dream. That was a bit harsh, but no, it was. It was always a pipe dream. Um, we're seeing with Williams and we're seeing with uh, others, with Envision, with Hyperbat, which is uh, Williams and Unipart joint venture, um, with others, with Accutronics, AMT Power, Hyperdrive Innovation, uh, AGM Batteries. We've got these, these companies that are there and they are demonstrating the ability. What they haven't done is scaled up. What we haven't done is actually get the mass sure. production that we need. Mm. Final question to you, Hamish. I always bang on about the fact you're my favourite political economist rather mm. than just economist uh, in these conversations. Um, if any government should be up to having an economic strategy mm. Mm. that embraces and supports manufacturing, mm. profit, growth, it is a Conservative government, unless the rule book's been rewritten and nobody told me. Well, one of the things that I think hasn't happened is this government hasn't listened enough to people at the sharp end who mm. run the show. Uh, and they've got a few months uh, to sit down and listen and start seeing where they can get some quick wins. And if they don't, it will be the other side that is actually does the listening and, uh, uh, and will get some quick wins. So I think that um, I think they've got a few weeks to get moving, but my word, they have to move.